Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is for all of you guys that are looking for an internship right now. So if you don't know by now, Incref has been hiring for software development engineering interns and in this video we'll be talking about the opening, we'll be talking about the eligibility and we'll be talking about how do you get your resume shortlisted. So make sure that you watch it till the end so that you're able to understand everything that you need to do to be able to crack this role. And just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about all of the off-campus hirings that are out there and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a college student or a fresher looking for a job slash internship, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any hiring alert. And today itself, I'll be releasing one more internship opportunity in later part of the evening. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for the videos. All right, so coming back to this opportunity, like I said, Incref has been hiring for SDE interns and total they have seven open positions. And the link to apply is still open. It is still live, meaning they still have open positions. So you should be applying ASAP. The link to apply is in the description box. But before you go and apply, make sure you understand everything so that you are able to get your resume shortlisted. So getting the eligibility out of the way first quickly. For el being eligible, you need to be a 2025 grad or 2026 grad. Okay. So even last year, it was the same. Final year students were allowed and recent grad were allowed. Meaning if you're 2025 grad or 2026 grad, then you are eligible to apply for this. Okay. That is straight up the eligibility. Even last year, it was the same. That is how the eligibility is. If you still have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment and I'll be there to clarify it for you. Okay. So now we have the eligibility out of the way. Now let's talk about how do you get your resume shortlisted. So of course, like I keep talking in all of my videos, you need to make sure that you have a good resume, meaning the basics of your resume should be good. So for making the basics right, first step, you don't need to do anything. Just blindly use the resume template I've given in the description box. Make it your own. It's on Overleaf. Just edit it and make it your own. I don't want to hear. I don't know how to use Overleaf. I don't know Latex. Guys, it's not difficult. It's very, very, very easy. It's just editing and you can use ChatGPT. Okay. So it's very, very simple. Just use the resume template in the description box. It will save you a hell lot of trouble. Okay. So. Resume template is done. Half of the basics is already done. Other half is going to be your ATS friendliness. So you need to have a good ATS score in your resume. You can use resume worded website for checking your ATS score. Okay. So your ATS score should be above 80 and at best it should be above 90. Minimum it should be above 80. Okay. But even if it is low, you don't need to worry about it because general ATS is one thing and job specific ATS score is going to be one thing. So job specific ATS score matters more, which we're going to talk about in a second. But even your general ATS should not be low. So make sure that your ATS score on resume worded or any other similar website, you can find a lot of tools for checking your ATS. The one that I generally recommend is eight is resume worded. I'll give you a few more in the description box or in another video, right? So you can use that, use those tools and make sure that your ATS score is minimum above 80. Okay. Or around 80. Don't try to, you know, don't make it go below that have around 80 to be in a safe spot. But then again, it matters how much your resume is similar to the job that you're applying for. So again, let me take a moment to talk about this because a lot of people keep getting confused about this. And I keep on getting this question in my resume review session. And by the way, guys, if you are someone who's having difficulty in getting your resume accepted in off campus opportunities, you keep on getting in all of the off campus openings. You don't know why you don't know how to improve your resume. If you are in a situation like that, then you can connect with me one to one for a resume review session where I will personally guide you and we will make your resume a whole lot better so that you are able to see results in off campus shortlisting. So the link for that is going to be in the description box. You can connect with me one to one on top. Mate. So what I mean by job specific ATS is that whatever job you're applying for, they have their requirements. They have some specific requirements. Like you need to be good with OOP, you need to be good with this thing, you need to be good with APIs. So your resume should be in accordance with that. If your resume doesn't match that, and even if it has a 100% general ATS score, you're still going to get rejected. Which is why I highly suggest don't use the same resume everywhere. Do not put the same resume in every job opening. You need to make sure that you make changes in your resume according to the job that you apply for. So let me tell you a very good trick that you can use. What you need to do send your resume to chat gpt send the job link to chat gpt and just ask it to basically compare between the two and give you a score based on that and once it gives you a score if it is low you can ask it to help you improve that is something that you can do okay 
but for this case scenario either you can do this or as usual i'll give you some keywords in the description box you can use those keywords to make sure that your resume is in accordance with the requirements that they have or the job description that they have okay so you can use this apart from that you can go down the route of referral as well although i don't think referral plays that much of a good hand in internship but you can still go for referrals as well just make sure that you have a good referral message so you can use my referral template link is in the description box you can just edit it make it into your message and send it to an employee of incraft okay if you do all of this you'll be in a very good place that you have a good chance of getting your resume shortlisted of course after that you'll have the interviews and stuff for that i'll give you some interview experiences articles you can read about it and then appear for the interviews so that's pretty much it this is everything that you need to do have a look at the description box and from there you'll be able to understand everything that you need to do rest i've already explained in the video if you still feel like your resume is not being good enough despite of you trying everything doing everything then again like i mentioned you can connect with me one to one over stop me so yeah that's pretty much it let's see you in the next video.